At last, after all those sleepless nights, we're now ready to release an experimental version of MCP via the Firebase CLI! <laughs> Model Context Protocol, also known as MCP servers, are here. MCP servers connect AI applications with enterprise data and AI tools. It exposes specific capabilities through the standardized protocol, allowing for secure and streamlined communication between AI systems and tools they need to take actions on a user behalf. This month, we at Firebase have designed our own server and released an experimental version of it via the Firebase CLI. Let's take a look at how to set up the MCP server and then run some of my favorite tools within the MCP server. To set up the Firebase MCP server, you first need to log into Firebase using the Firebase CLI. This will allow you to communicate with Firebase in your existing projects as well as set up new projects all using the MCP server. Once your machine has been authorized, go to your favorite AI powered editor or chat service and enter in the following configuration information to run the Firebase MCP server. The directory flag with the dot specifies the folder that will be the home of your Firebase project. In AI powered editors, this would be the current directory that you are operating from. If you are using a chat bot, you'll want to specify the directory of your project. Let's start looking at some of my favorite commands. I'm going to run all these commands through GenKit since their developer UI allows me to trace the requests to the MCP server and see the requests and responses made to the server. This helps me verify that tool requests are functioning as I expect. If you want to learn more about how to use MCP with GenKit, I will provide documentation below. Let's start with finding out the current project information. When I created my Firebase project, I forgot to grab the configuration information. So I'm going to use the MCP server to send a request asking for my SDK configuration for the Deep Dives demo app. And just like that, we can see that we get the SDK config from the service. Very cool. What actually happened here? Let's check the trace information to see what the calls were to the MCP server. The first call that was made to the MCP server is the list apps call to look up the apps that I have in my project. So that way, when it made the second call, it passed in the required app ID parameter to search for the correct app configuration. That was neat, but what if we wanted to do something a little more complicated? In this case, I wanna look at my currently deployed Data Connect service and make requests against it. If I forgot my currently deployed schema, I can quickly ask what that may look like and it will send my request to the MCP server. With Data Connect, we also have the capability to run arbitrary GraphQL queries using the admin SDK and the MCP server running on our machine. Let's try that out now. Using natural language, I'll specify exactly what I am looking for in my query to my Data Connect service, and I get a results back from the service. This can be expanded to include more complex queries using natural language and can help minimize the amount of queries you need to write in your IDE to interact with the service. Nice. Moving on, if I want to set an SMS region policy to allow list all countries within the European Union, I must go through and select each country within the SMS region policy dropdown. This could take me some time as there are more than 20 countries within the European Union. Using the Firebase MCP server, we can combine natural language with our request to accelerate the process of allow listing certain countries onto the SMS region policy for our project. This task normally would take a couple minutes to complete, but the Firebase MCP server allows us to shorten this window down to a couple seconds. While this has been a brief overview of some of my favorite functionality within the Firebase MCP server, there are many more functions that exist within it, including features related to Firestore, authentication, data connect, storage, Firebase messaging, remote config, and crash lytics. We are actively working on this experimental Firebase MCP server and hope to continue adding more features soon. This means that we need your help. Please visit the Firebase Tools GitHub to make a feature request or even better yet, make the code change yourself for the feature you wanna see in the MCP server. You can also comment below what features you most wanna see in the Firebase MCP server. And additionally, check out the documentation linked in the description.
We are very excited here at Firebase to be offering an MCP server and cannot wait to see what you build with it. Keep experimenting.